We filled it up. Now the moment of truth. The next morning I come out, no, it's leaking. And we got the situation where it's bowing on the side. So we take all the tarps out. We have to dry out the OSB. And thank you to my brother-in-law, Troy, who does construction. He told me how to fix it with extra support. Because remember, 450 gallons of water is 3,800 pounds of pressure. For the leaking, I bought a thicker tarp. This one's 20 mil. And we try again. And the next morning, it is leaking again. And I didn't even show you all the taping, silicone glue I did on the seams of the tarp and the plastic that I tried to use so I took a break and did some googling while I worked on the pool ladder and the solar heater and I just decided to bite the bullet and stop being cheap the OSB got replaced with plywood I did use pool noodles to line the corners but then I reluctantly threw some cash at pool padding and a pond liner that did the trick you can see the ladder the custom cut cover and the solar heater going up to the roof and my favorite part thanks to the dollar store a luau themed table skirt there you go my queen bed pool thanks for watching